Hi hey guys, Todd here. Today, well, to start off with, I'm going to need a little bit of patience from you. I'm not feeling 100%. Uh, and, uh, but uh, I'm going to crack on because this is a review I've been wanting to get done for some time now. And, and unfortunately, I just seem to spend more time vaping with the device than actually studying it, breaking it down to get ready for a review, which is wrong. Uh, but it's one of these devices where you just just get used to vaping with it and and, and enjoy it. Um, it is the Nanos uh, by MMV Metal Madness Vapors. Uh, same people that made the Poldiac, the TNS, the Did, the Mini Did, and so on. The Temin, Temin was it the Temin? Can't remember now. Um, the fourteen five hundred one. Anyway, they sent on to me. Uh, well, they asked me what version of the Nanos I wanted. Now, this is something I'll have to state at the start. Go along to the MMV website. You will see in the left-hand navigation menu there is a section for all the, the battery mods, tube mods. Go in and have a look. The amount of configurations you can buy the Nanos in, mind-blowing. You can buy it in single tube, mixed tube, mixed finishes, it just goes on and on and on. It's crazy, uh, it really is. Um, you're looking at 95 euros for a mixed version and 79 euros for a single tube version. And there's also 105 euros for the extended mode. Uh, all the other details I'll cover through the review. For me, the big thing about the Nanos is uh, it's got to be the switch. I'll show you this in detail in the review, but right now, and this is another bonus, because it's MMV and they make the Poldiac and that, you know, the threading's the same. So this is actually, you know, from my Poldiac, you know, I've got my, my tube, uh, my jacket and pants, I can never remember what they're called, uh, and I'm actually using the Nanos switch and top cap, and I've got a... Uh, Veritas rebuildable dripping atomizer on here just now. So this is not fine. Watch this. This locked, unlocked, locked, unlocked. It's just a funky little button. That's a little bit of Tarts nipple that I'm vaping on there. Yes, you heard me. Um, show you this. Lancashire Steam Company, Tarts nipple. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, right, you didn't need to know that. Um, go along also, after you've watched this, there's probably going to be bits that make absolutely no sense because I'm in that state of mind today. Um, they have on the, the top section of the website, they have a manual section. You can go there and you can get an, a PDF manual for absolutely everything to do with this mod and the Poldiac and the TNS and it breaks it down into its component parts, gives you all the options and tells you what you can and cannot do with this. Excellent manual, absolutely excellent. And I wish there were more sites doing it or more mod makers doing that kind of thing because it makes a huge difference to folk. Uh, right, I'm going to go make a cup of coffee, come back and we'll get started. This is my, uh, this is my little Nanos, uh, and I was given the option of which one to go for, and I went for a mixed version, uh, you know, you can go full polished, full satin, stainless steel mixed, and there's so many options, but, uh, you know, Nanos is Greek for dwarf, uh, so most of them are named after the dwarfs from Lord of the Rings, uh, or the Hobbit, and I went for, oh, I can never pronounce it, is it Bifer? Um, so it's a stainless steel top cap, uh, and we've got a stainless steel section with top and bottom brass sections. So this would, I mean I got this free for review, uh, but this would normally cost 95 euros. 
Now what we'll do is uh, I'll just run through this quickly and uh, we'll start off with the button. So here we go, there's the Nanos Metal Madness Vapors logo and a serial number. And you get a look at this button here. Now this is, it's, <laughs> it's a great wee thing. Um, I mean the locking mechanism, if I just hold this like here just now, that little turn, that's it locked and unlocked. It's a great wee thing, it really is. In total you've got six magnets in here which are 4mm by 1mm and the six magnets that are in here uh, they do state that you should not run setups below 0 0.5 ohms uh, because if the magnets get over 120 degrees Celsius they will lose their magnetic properties so bear that in mind uh, you do not want to go below 0 0.5 I'll try and take this to bits for you just now just unscrew this here now you're looking at, uh, if I remember right, these are all rhodium over silver plating, the contacts. So I'll let this come out of here. Whoa. And there you can see your magnets in there. You've got the magnets in the bottom of here. And that's pretty much it. Simple and you know it just works and there we go we'll come back to the the throw in the button later but you can see that there's actually well hopefully you can see there are slots down the side there for venting as well uh, cut down the bottom here so it will vent through the switch should point out that everything in this uh, device is stainless steel or brass it's going to be 303 grade stainless steel and uh, like I said it's rhodium over silver plated contacts top and the bottom now the top cap, we've got a flat top cap here, excuse this is all dirty but I have been using this rather a lot. Uh, we've got our insulator in here and this is a peak Ketron I do believe and we then have our adjusters. Now these are reverse threaded, you would adjust this and then until it made contact with whatever atty you were screwing in and just remember it's reverse threaded. I have to admit, I find it, my one is quite stiff, uh, and and doing it by finger, um, it's not the easiest, I have to be honest, it's not the easiest. So that's that in there, so if I was to take my Veritas just now, and screw that on, you can see it's not making contact, so I'll have to thread that out a bit. got making contact and then just give it a wee tighten back up and there we go remember reverse threaded we then have our battery rattle section going in here remember this is reverse threaded again I just screw that in there and it's just the same as any other one you know you're just going to adjust it until it makes contact with the battery and takes the rattle out once again, you're doing this with your fingers. Um, I, I, I just, I, it works. I've no issue with it in that respect. It works. I just find that, you know, I wish I had a little screwdriver or, you know, even a socket head to, to fit this. Or maybe if this was just, you know, I could get a flat screwdriver in there just to turn it. But you just adjust it up and down there. So once again, everything there is reverse threaded. Tubes. I have the polished one here and I have a brass top extender and a brass extender here. There we go. So there's 18650. Take that one off, 18500. Take the two of them off and I've got 18350. 18350 is going to be 53 millimeters in length. 18500 is 68 millimeters in length and 18650 is 83 millimeters in length. So what I'll do is I'll use an 18650 battery here just now 
I'm just going to screw my uh, switch on in the bottom. There we go, the switch on. Pop a battery in. And I've got this set up, but I just, I think this one's going to have to be screwed in quite close. And there we go. So we're all hooked up there. So there we go, we're locked just now. Little turn. Unlock. Little turn. Not firing. Little turn. Firing. And that is it. Uh, so what I'll do is oh, we'll take this down to 18350 just to show you. And there it is in 18350. Remember that's uh, 53 millimetres. Tiny wee thing. Really like it. Now, uh, there is an optional extra you can buy if you want to use, uh, say, your uh, Poldiac tubes. Um, you will find that uh, you know the battery rattle here is just—it's not long enough. Uh, you're still going to have rattle in the tubes. So what you can do is take that one out. They do sell a spare set which has an extended one. Uh, I think it's 12 euros. Um, they call it a Poldiac to Nanos top contact set, uh, and it gives you this guy. So you know you can pop him in there and you can extend that contact out so here's like a Poldiac set of tubes here I can screw that on there you will also if you're going to use the Poldiac you will need a Poldiac to Nanos adapter uh, these come in various finishes you know polished, satin, uh, brass and that will screw onto the top or bottom wherever you want to put it and that allows you to use the switch. So there we are, that's a Poldiac tube set there. Now I've been playing with this in other ways. Uh, I mean I've got a TNS uh, and this is it in hybrid mode on the Nanos uh, and all I've used is you know these uh, hybrid kits that you get and they come with a little plastic spacer with a metal bit in the middle I just pop that on top of the battery and uh, I can then use it in the, the TNS and the Nanos in hybrid mode uh, it's really funky uh, it's great in 18350 mode in that configuration locked Unlocked. Oh, wow. <coughs> There's no problem with conductivity in this at all. Um, it performed really well. Um, right, I'll get my standard top cap back on. Uh, I've not been able to get it to work with a kick 2 in it at all. It was just not big enough, uh, the tubes. Uh, that may be a concern for some, might not be a pain in the arse for others, you know, it's just it's just one of these things. Um, let's pop something a bit bigger on top. I've got my Scrape 2 here. So there's my Scrape 2, 18650 mode, and I've got uh, my brass airflow ring on my Scrape 2 here as well. Listen, um, this is quite a, a simple review for me because uh, if you go you can read the manual and you get everything that I've probably missed. I mean I've got the manual open here in front of me. Um, just to remember if you want to use the Poldiac uh, parts that you have you're going to need that uh, extender, uh, you know, for, where did it go? You'll, you'll need that little guy there, that extender. Um, and you'll need a nano switch um, and also the the ring 
that has now disappeared on me. Where did it go? I've got so many parts here. This ring here. <laughs> um, okay, it's not the smallest mod out there, but it's one of the smallest. The switch is pretty peachy. Uh, the only thing I find is, you know, when it's locked it's fine, but you cannot set this down unlocked. You just can't forget it. It will fire every single time if you put it down unlocked. But it is such a simple operation to lock and unlock it that it just becomes second nature. It just becomes habit of doing this. I'm finding myself picking up other mods and taking a vape and going like that. And it's really cool. Um, issues or negatives, right, negative wise, uh, I've got a couple of negatives, are the negatives, not so much negative, things you, things you have to be aware of, the contacts in the top cap, as with all mechanical mods, you have to keep them clean, um, I, I do find them a bit on the stiff side to adjust, um, it, they are reverse threaded, bear that in mind, uh, but I, I do, I, I don't know, just, maybe it's just my my one, but uh, I, I do find it can be a bit footery, or a bit, uh, sometimes to, not so much the, the battery rattle one, but certainly the, the one for adjusting for the positive contact here. Uh, the other thing is, now, uh, this, I have to point this one out. I have found sometimes that, especially, I'm showing this, some batteries you get, you know how you have, you have your plastic wrapper? Well, you have your plastic wrapper, on some batteries they're thicker than they are on other batteries. Because they're thicker, the, the actual base of the, the battery here, the metal section, if it's thin, the wrapper, then this metal piece sticks further out. AWIMRs especially. Now, because of that, because this contact here sits just a fraction below the, the, the insulator, I found that uh, it has auto-fired by itself solution to that is to make sure that that screw is tightened right up. Tighten it right up that you don't want it to be slack at all. If it's tightened right up you will not have a problem. But if it's just a slight fraction it's not tightened up enough uh, I have found that uh, I can fire the mod when it's locked as well. Once again, I just want to make this totally clear. I'm not trying to, you know, light a wildfire here or, or upset anybody, which is what I seem to do. Um, I'm just saying to people, just make sure that that contact in there, the screw is tightened right up. If it is, you'll not have any problem whatsoever. It doesn't come loose by itself or anything like that. I've not had one single issue since I tightened it right up. When I got it, it was just, it wasn't tightened right down. So I was getting auto firing with AWIMR batteries. It wasn't happening with any of my other batteries, just AWIMR ones. It now works fine with AWIMR ones. Glad I got that out of the way. Um, just to clarify again, for those that are going to run around, you know, the room going, you know, the world's coming to an end. It's not. There's nothing wrong. Just tighten up the contact. It's probably tightened already, but just tighten it up. Um, so, it will fire when you set it down without locking it. But as I said, it just becomes second nature to just roll the switch with your finger to lock and unlock. Beautiful. I love the amount of configurations that it can come in. Uh, I think that's really good. I mean, you can get it in so many configurations. And you can also, it did say here, 
they do have the ability to do special engraving so they can almost make like a custom one for you and there are some custom ones on the site already um, I think they've got this at the Shaggy the Shaggy edition is on their website and will be sold with its own serial number uh, so you know if, if you want I don't know how much it's going to cost to get your own engraved version made but they can do it it's just to, to say again you remember the contacts are silver plated with rhodium over the top now rhodium is very hard wearing and silver conductivity you know it's, this this performs uh, I mean that's it AWI MAR battery in here firing not firing see there's nothing wrong beautiful remember uh, build wise don't go down below 0 0.5 or you'll bugger up your magnets um, go along to the website you'll see there are so many different configurations available you've got the manual that cover everything and other than what I've mentioned, I, I really can't fault this little guy at all. I think it's a great little mod. I really do. I think it's a beautiful little mod. Uh, and mixing and matching with the Poldiac parts and things like that as well is just... For tinkerers like me, it's just great. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything. I hope I haven't. Uh, but, uh, you know, once again, and I'll say it again, the manual's on the website. Thank you to everybody at uh, MMV for getting in touch and helping me out with my questions. Uh, to you guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or anything like that, go along to my Facebook page or my web page or go along to the Metal Madness Vapors website and ask there and uh, they'll clarify anything that I haven't covered. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch up soon. Cheers guys. Bye.